Now that you've seen a demonstration of how to perform CPR and use an AED, we will go through the actions again, but this time I will explain what you should do. When a person collapses, it is vital you act safely and promptly to potentially save their life. On approaching a collapsed person, assess the surrounding area for danger. If there is no danger to you, the victim or bystanders, kneel beside the victim. Carefully assess to see if the casualty is responsive by shouting at them, are you alright? And by gently shaking them on their shoulders. If the casualty does not respond, shout for help. Next, you need to open the victim's airway to allow him to breathe if he is able to. To do this, put one hand on his forehead and gently tilt his head back. At the same time, put the fingertips of your other hand under the point of his chin and lift the chin. This will open his airway. Whilst holding the airway open, place your head next to the casualty's face and look, listen and feel for normal breathing for up to 10 seconds. If the victim is not breathing or not breathing normally, ask a bystander to call the emergency services and ask for an ambulance and to bring an AED if available. If no bystander is available, make the call yourself. Then immediately start CPR. Start with compressions. To do this, place the heel of one hand in the centre of the casualty's chest. Put your other hand on top and interlock your fingers. Press the chest down 5 to 6 centimetres whilst keeping your arms straight. Press 30 times at a rate of 100 to 120 a minute, up to twice a second. After 30 compressions, give two rescue breaths. Different methods of delivering rescue breaths will be demonstrated later in this film. If you're not trained to, or are unwilling to give rescue breaths, give chest compressions only. Continue CPR until professional help takes over or the AED arrives. When the AED arrives, the first person should continue CPR. The second person should immediately switch the AED on and follow the voice prompts. Adult mode. Follow the voice prompt calmly. Remove all clothing from chest and stomach. Rip clothing if necessary. Remove the casualty's clothes to expose their bare chest. Tear open the pad's packaging. Remove the pads from the AED and tear open the packaging. Look closely at the picture on each pad. Look carefully at the pictures shown on each pad. Peel off the pad labelled 1 and stick to the bare skin of the patient, exactly as shown in the picture. Peel off the first pad and place exactly as shown in the picture on the pad. Peel off the pad labelled 2 and stick to the bare skin of the patient, exactly as shown in the picture. Peel off the second pad and place exactly as shown in the picture on the pad. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. When prompted by the AED, ensure everyone is clear by prompting visually and verbally for everyone to stand clear whilst the AED is analyzing the heart rhythm. Shock advised. When the AED prompts shock advised, ensure everyone is clear by prompting visually and verbally for everyone to stand clear. Stand clear. Press the flashing orange button now. Deliver shock now. When prompted by the AED, press the shock button. Shock delivered. Begin CPR now. Immediately after a shock has been delivered, recommence CPR at a ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. Press the flashing blue eye button for CPR voice prompt. Where possible, Use the AED's built-in CPR voice prompts and metronome to ensure the correct speed of compressions and ratio of CPR. Continue CPR until the AED prompts you to stop. This is usually about two minutes.
Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. When prompted by the AED, stop CPR and look to see that everyone is clear and call stand clear. No shock advised. Begin CPR now. If the AED prompts no shock advised and the casualty is showing no signs of life, immediately recommence CPR for a further two minutes where the AED will again reanalyze the heart rhythm.